Welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Today we have a maintenance specific video. This is the PX747 from ViewSonic and I've been using this for quite a while. I really love this projector. It's a 4K pixel shift projector, but it needs a new bulb because it has 5,500 hours on it and it's starting to show. I can tell it's getting quite a bit duller than it was. Like it's dim. So I just got this in the mail, it has my address on there, but uh, it's just a bare lamp and I was going to get the whole cage, but the whole cage is 140 and this bare lamp was $70 from an extremely high traffic website that sells both uh, a OEM version of this bulb plus a generic version and the OEM version is about 70 and the generic is like $40, $45, but they sent it like this. Usually when I buy like a, um, a part for a projector that's OEM, it doesn't come just wrapped up in a blanket, I gotta be honest. So that was kind of, uh, threw me off a little bit. It looks like it come from a distribution center, so that's a good sign. Although, you know, you can call an apartment a suite if you want to. Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about this person that sent this to me. It could be right on the money. I know it was on the money. I just want to get uh, an actual Phillips. It says Phillips on it. 75252. And I was expecting there to be a sticker. Yeah, here's a little white sticker. So that's looking pretty good, actually. 240 watt, that's what we want. So I'm going to call this the actual OEM bulb which is always a good feeling when you get the right one from the people who've been doing things like this for a long time and designed it from the ground up and aren't just taking one apart and trying to figure out how they did it. Um, nothing, not knocking the generic ones, I bought them before and they have worked, but there's nothing like having a ball break and take out internal components that need to be fixed. That, that just totally is not fun. So I'm going to wrap this up for now. I don't think you're supposed to touch these. I think these are kind of like uh, the types of bulbs that you put on a car that you don't touch and if not I still don't want to touch it I just don't want to touch that so I won't now this projector has been running for a long time and I have not blown out any of the dust so I'm expecting to see dust bunnies as you can see I just took it off with the the um, part of the stand or what they call that the hanger intact so it's really easy to just take out two bolts. It actually hangs on right here. That's how you finalize the installation for those. It's like a mount. But you can see right here, that's got plenty of dust on it. So. You can see right there, it's caked. Now, I know some people, they don't like to replace bulbs, and they'll just throw their projector away and order another one, but I don't have uh, the financing to do that. I kind of try to be a little more frugal, so I do actually replace the bulbs on my projectors. <laughs> these cans this is like electronics duster I don't know if this stuff is safe I've used it and it's kind of like poor man's Freon so if you know anything about these if you think they're safe or not please comment about these these dust off or any kind of similar I think it's the uh, 154 what do they call this stuff Difluoroethane. I'm usually trying to stay away from fluoros, except for like flour for pizza, but uh, we'll see. Oh, this thing, you got to break this off. I might want to spray this out from the inside out of the projector instead of, maybe I'll just do this right here. Yeah, 
You can't hold them on their side or else they get fluid. Anyway, the stuff's going all over the house, so that means I gotta mop the floor and everything again. It does a heck of a job, though. It keeps pressure because this stuff, it do, it's kind of like a lithium ion as compared to like a lead acid. A lead acid kind of goes down and the lithium ion stays up and then drops off. That's how this is because it keeps evaporating off the bottom and maintains pressure. So that's the good thing about it. Anyway, there's a couple of screws on the side. I think I'm just going to go right for those. This is a number one and it seems to work well. Looks like that screw is just hanging out. It has like a spring on it. So I don't think those, yeah, those stay in place. That's kind of nice. I'll take it. The stand's actually making it easy to, this, the mount, it's making it kind of easy to uh, take pictures of this. So usually when I take something like this apart, I look for a ribbon that goes from these controls and the power switch to the inside of it. Because if you yank it off, a lot of times you can break that ribbon and then I'll be at a repair shop or looking online for parts in one way or the other. So I have never taken this one apart. I'm going to center this focus ring. Let's see what happens. I don't want to break it, I can tell you that. I really don't want to break it. It's probably better to have something rubber. I'm just going to give a little finagle right here. There we go. Just a little bit, and the rest will come up. I really don't want to break it. I feel like there's like another screw or something. I don't see it. Maybe I can bust the other side open. So there's actually no ribbon cable. This comes off clean. Well, that's cool. Let's see if we can get it a little closer. All right. It looks like there's some plastic right there. It's like a window. I see a bulb under there, so let's see about taking that window off. Save this for later, but boy, is that dirty. It seems like if I was a technician, that would be nice to have a second one of these just to put on. You could probably make one, one way or the other. But. Um, thinking give myself a handle. There you go, got a handle. 
take this screw. Almost went with the flat, but I don't think so. There we go with the number one. Good engagement there. My first thought I was, is that I was going to need a number two, but after looking at everything, all right, so that one doesn't come out either. Not all the way anyway. All right, so that's loose. That's bulbage right there. Now I have a connector. Okay. Press that down. I depressed this and it came right out. So there is the bulb. Probably, I'm not sure how uh, used it looks. It doesn't, from here, it doesn't look too bad. It's not like it's brown. I can't tell yet, anyway. So, let's move this out of the way. Clean that up here in a minute. I like to put that bulb in without any problems. So I've done a couple of these on another projector and usually this back plate comes off. But there's orientation to it. And it looks like these small ones kind of hug this. And these long ones are out here on their own. Now oh, these should come all the way out. Yeah, that came all the way out. So yeah, I kind of wanted the whole cage, honestly, because it said OEM cage, and it seemed like really the way to go. But I hate pulling a cage off and then have an extra cage laying around with a bulb, old bulb in it. And I could just throw it right in the trash. But then I'd probably try to sell the cage, you know, extra cage for sale. So I just didn't order the cage. Okay, so this bottom piece comes off separate. And it looks like it plugs in right like that. Or no, no, this is other metal. So it lays over on top. This one's on top. So we'll take this top layer off. But this is on top of everything else. Now this metal is like those Christmas light things with the candles and everything. It's super thin. You know, the big fans. I guess that's a religious thing, but you know, they're just kind of a novelty regardless. So then that was on the back. Now this one goes all the way around. I don't know how my focus is doing. Probably not real well. I'm trying to. I had the camera right in my way, but uh, that's all part of the movie magic, I guess. Okay. So that one, this part on the other side of these contacts, and then part of this long side here. And then the bulb is falling out now. So that's the whole shebang. Okay. So it really doesn't look bad. It's strange that they even wear it all. I might sell it for five bucks or ten bucks or something to someone that just needs a bulb to get by. The only thing is sometimes they blow up once they're old. So this should just come right off. Okay, so here's the image. It's a bit brighter. It's not like huge, but I noticed that the taskbar was really bright white and before I could see it but it had dulled some which is what prompted me to get a new bulb. Plus if the bulb breaks it can take out other components inside the projector. But as you can see that ball back there, that it just kind of ends up looking pretty darn white. It has just kind of a brilliant look to it. So I can tell that this is working a lot better and I did smell some 
burning paper, I guess, but it was, I would say, probably that sticker that was on the bulb. And I was thinking about it, why do they do that? And that's so that a person knows that, that it's a brand new bulb and it hasn't been run before. So that's a dead giveaway when that sticker's new, unless that sticker could be reproduced, which I don't think people are going to go out of their way to do that. Not when they can just sell the bulbs for $70. So I did save some money over getting the, the bulb that's already in the cage. You can buy the caged bulb for about $140. Saw them on sale for like as low as $125. But after shipping and taxes, it would probably be about $140. And uh, so uh, I'm seeing an improvement here. But, you know, they say that if... If the image looks about half as bright, it's actually gone down 82%. If, to the eye, half as bright is actually 82% less lumens. So these things do deteriorate, and at 5,500 hours, it was 1,500 hours over the 4,000-hour limit for those bulbs, so I was totally due. And uh, so far, this looks really good. I think if I turned the lights out, it would look even better, but I'm just still sitting here and I still have these lights going from when I did the video. So considering that is doing really well. Well I hope the video helped you. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to my eBay store. You can always check that out, GB Hatchery. Also I can leave a link to this bulb as I can say that it has worked for me so far. Although it only has, it has less than an hour on it. But I did reset, I was able to reset my uh, timer on my my new bulb so that's awesome and it's really it's a new lease on the projector so that's really a good feeling so i hope you enjoyed the video you can always like subscribe comment buy some from my ebay store or just send me some free money other than that i hope you're safe and healthy and i'll see you in the next video